This is Dragonfly. She's a 57-foot cruiser stern narrowboat built in 2006 by Dragon Narrowboats and fitted out by Stuart Hodges. She's in lovely condition. She's very highly specced. You'll see as we go through. She's booked for the 24th of January to be re-blacked. The anodes will be checked and replaced if necessary. And the owner's also having a hull survey <coughs> done on her while she's out of the water, so though all those boxes will be ticked. She's provided home to her current owners for the last four or five years. And as we go through the boat, you'll see how lovely she is. There's a Houdini hatch there. The satellite dish you see there is a Oyster Caro self-seeking satellite system. And the well deck itself, four feet eight in inches long, has a storage locker in the bows. The gas is housed on the back of the boat. The seats either side of the well deck here provide further storage. There's the locker I mentioned. And the front doors are solid. They're glazed, they're steel clad on the outside and oak lined. And into the boat we go. She feels so lovely. She fits out an oak, diagonal tongue and groove above the gunnels. Oak face ply below and the floor itself is solid oak as well. The media centre is in the corner here. The television is a TV DVD, that's Sony. And the sky I've already mentioned, the satellite rather. Blackout blinds here on the front doors. And the storage under these steps. <coughs> Excuse me. The stove is the very popular Morso Squirrel. Nice tiled surround there. And two very comfortable armchairs there. They turn into, uh, into beds, each of those. And the stereo system on board, you'll see that in a while. Pipes music through the speakers and the ceiling at various points in the boat. The saloon itself is 12 feet long, by the way. 14 bottle wine rack here with five drawers next to it. Nice breakfast bar, a couple of stools there. Just turn around again and have a look at the saloon. Head height in the boat, what I think of it is six feet five inches, so quite good headroom. And into the galley we go, a nice horseshoe arrangement, tiled worktops, there's a lovely Houdini hatch over, that has a fly screen. And this side hatch here adds light and ventilation, that has a pull down fly screen as well. Useful under gunnel cupboard here. The galley measures nine feet long, so longer than many. The cooker is a New World 4 burner gas hob, oven and separate grill with a pan drawer underneath it. There's a microwave there in the corner. Cupboard's over. There's also a, a generator on board. It's a travel power, three and a half kilowatts, are very powerful. That puts 230 volts through the boat along with the master volt 2 kilowatt inverter. Very good storage in the kitchen here. A couple of pulley out drawer things there. And the fridge is a shoreline 12 volts. So that has an ice box as well. <coughs> There are lights under that cupboard, by the way, over the cooker. I didn't mention those. So down the corridor on the port side we go, and the bathroom is next. There's a sliding door to this. Very good, those are good space savers. A good sized shower. That has a light in it. There's a heated towel rail over here. Central heating is provided by the Hurricane 10 kilowatt diesel fired system. That does three radiators and the towel rail. And the loo itself is a composting one. The basin is ceramic. There used to be a Thetford cassette here, so the fittings are all there if that's your preference. But currently it's a composting loo. Bifold door in the shower, and there's also there an extractor light. Quite a useful cupboard in between the shelves and the gunnel there. On into the main bedroom. Nine foot six inches long, 
The bed itself is six foot four wide, uh, long rather, by four feet four wide, and it does extend to a five foot king size bed. There's a mattress extension. Some reading lights under the cupboards here. The owners haven't moved off yet, I should explain. So the cupboards still do have things in. There's some more speakers for the stereo. The cupboards still are occupied, if you like. The boat is available now for viewings, but won't be available to actually move on to until the 1st of February. Good sized wardrobe here with one, two, three drawers underneath it. Very large battery bank on board. There are four Trojan 6 volt 225 amp hour batteries and a starter. Here's all the master volt equipment. That's the inverter, the battery charger in the middle, and there's an isolation transformer to the right. That's one up from your galvanic isolator. It's top of the range, that. And as you probably know, master volt is all very good equipment anyway. This is the utility room stroke office. It would make a great office. Current utility, and under here is the washing machine. Full size, if it's important to you, it's a hot point. <clears throat> Very good space, you could do quite a lot with this room. Now we go on to the huge stern deck, just one inch short of eight feet, we've measured it at. Under there is the Barra Shire. Very powerful engine, 45 horsepower. So rivers would be no problem on this boat. And there's the view from the helmsman's position. The gas bottles, the 213 kilos, are in that locker there. That also doubles up, of course, as a nice bench seat while you're motoring. We'll go back for another quick walk through the boat. She comes equipped with all the usual navigation equipment. Lighting, I didn't mention, I don't think. It's all LED. And the saloon lights have a dimmer switch fitted as well. There's the stereo I mentioned earlier. That's a Pioneer DAB with Bluetooth and DVD facility. There's also an alarm system on board and a Wilson's tonneau cover for the rear deck. She's a lovely boat, she's so well fitted out, she's very highly specced. She's ready really, once the survey and blacking have been done, to just turn the key and off you go. Nothing to do for a fair while. So that's Dragonfly. For further photographs, a fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.